So there are two images, two landmarks in Tolstoy's life, both of which are at Yasnya Polyana, his home estate, which encapsulate for me the essence of Tolstoy. And they're the little green stick and the lost house, the title of my book. Yasnya Polyana is the thousand acre estate which Tolstoy inherited. He spent 60 of his 82 years there. It is a landscape of sprawling meadows and fields and ravines and forests. And this is where Tolstoy lived. This is how he grew up. You get a sense when you're walking at Yasnya Polyana how a guy like this living in this environment could write a book like War and Peace because his very physical environment seemed limitless. And to this day, Yasnya Polyana is a kind of mecca. It is said that there are three cultural centers in Russia today, Moscow, St. Petersburg, and Yasnya Polyana. People still come to Yasnya Polyana from all over Russia and all over the world. As you're walking along one of the paths, one of the many dirt paths at Yasnya Polyana, you go along about four or five hundred meters and the trees start getting thicker and you smell the elm and the oak and the linden trees and the wild flowers. And as you go a little further, the air gets, gets a little bit cooler and it gets a little bit darker. And you come out into an opening and you're on the edge of a ravine. Of a, of a ravine. And there's a a very small field of grass. In the middle of that small field of grass is a raised mound of grass that just stands there. That's Tolstoy's grave. And that is exactly how he wanted it to appear after his, his death, without a headstone, without a sign. And that is the spot that he wanted it to appear on, precisely on that spot. Because when he was a little boy, he used to play with his brother in the ravine in that little spot. And one day, they, they found a little green stick. And they used to pretend that on that stick was inscribed the secret to universal happiness. And this is what Tolstoy wrote when he was 76 years old. And just as I believed then that there is a little green stick on which is written the secret that will destroy all evil in people and give them great blessings, so now I believe that such a truth exists and that it will be revealed to people and will give them what it promises. A 76-year-old man still believing in this childlike ideal. And that's all the more impressive with Tolstoy because this is a guy who understood just how imperfect people are. Because the other image at Yasne Polyana is on a different part of the estate, more central. And as you go back, you see there's a, uh, a field about uh, an, uh, a large, unkempt kind of garden about half the size of this room. And at your feet, on one edge of the garden, is a little stone. And on that stone, uh, is written the words, here stood the house in which Leo Tolstoy was born. So where's that house? Well, Tolstoy lost it in a gambling bet when he was 27 years old. The guy literally came up, uh, I, uh, I don't remember where he lived, he came up he, on, with his horse and his tractor and carted the house away. And to this day, they don't know, because Tolstoy didn't have enough cash to pay off his collateral. And, and believe me, if, if people knew where that house was, you would know about it. Scholars have unearthed every little detail of Tolstoy's life, but it's literally lost. This is what Tolstoy wrote in his diary the day that happened. I'm so disgusted with myself that I'd like to forget about my existence. So what he did is he started to create rules of behavior for himself, like Benjamin Franklin, who was one of his models. So in his diary, he would have six, seven, eight, ten rules of behavior and morality, and this is what I'm going to do today, and this is what I'm not going to do today, and he would grade himself. Every day, his grades were not very good. <laughs> two weeks later, he wrote, played cards again and lost another 200 rubles. <laughs> I can't promise to stop. So he continued to gamble and to drink and to carouse and to sleep with gypsy women. And he got a, one of his peasant girls on his estate pregnant. Tolstoy is the father of an illegitimate child. And this was his life in his 20s. At 25, this is what he wrote. I must have a woman. Sensuality doesn't give me a moment's peace. His sexual appetites were pathological. At the age of 30, sensuality torments me. Laziness, again, boredom and sadness. Everything seems stupid. The ideal is unattainable. I've already ruined myself. 30 years old. The unattainable ideal, the ruined self, these aren't usually the images that you associate with the man who later on would inspire Mahatma Gandhi and found his own religion based on his interpretation of the Gospels and become a spiritual prophet to many. 
And yet Tolstoy wouldn't be Tolstoy if it weren't the union and the constant conflict between these two. So the little green stick and the lost house, not 500 meters separate these two landmarks at Tolstoy's estate, and yet his entire life was spent traveling a path back and forth between them, between who he was and who he was continually striving to become.